Doyle home. Just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. And so we'd be looking at all the trim work, gutters, downspouts, siding, pretty much all the way around the house. So all of your peaks, so your fascia and your soffit everywhere around the house, these peak vents here and above the garage, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, front porch area, the front door and side light as well, the framework, a um, couple of areas of wood trim around windows. Um, there is one area I can't really see well, but as far as wood repair goes, looks like there may be a concern there. I don't know. I can't get up there and, and check, but that's something we could check out. We'll assume it's okay for now. Um, you might just have a little bit of swelling on that wood, and that happens when you have this compressed board, and it's an indicative of that right there. You've got some swelling at the bottom, so then stuff starts to fall away. So this cap right here at the bottom would need to be replaced. So that's one area of wood repair. Need some general caulking and that kind of thing. Um, here's another piece of wood repair, just this brick molding on the left side of the peak vent. You can see the hole there. So that would need to be replaced as well. Overall, um, everything looks in decent shape. Um, garage door would be included in the pricing. So then we'll walk over to the left side here. There's a big stretch of siding over here. So siding on this side and the trim work. We, I talked with the homeowner about two-toning the house so the trim would be a lighter color and then uh, siding would go a darker color, potentially a gray or something of that nature. So you can see on this side there's some black mold or mildew growth. So we would power wash everything before we get started to get a clean surface. Obviously you've got some rusted nails on the bottom and on the second level here. So we need to prime those so that that rust doesn't come through. Um, you've got areas like this where the wood meets the brick that need to be recalked um, and sealed so that this doesn't get any worse. I think it's okay for now, but it's something to keep an eye on. So we'd reseal all of those joints all the way around the house just to make sure everything's good. Moisture can't get in, cause any future wood rot or anything of that nature. So then walk around to the right side of the home. Got some more siding here. And there's an access door to the garage over here. And we'll work our way to the back. So on the back side of the home, you've got some more areas of concern. Peeling, and we want to make sure we scrape and prime. Um, got more siding trim work here and on this upper second level to take care of. No major concerns here. The only thing I did want to highlight, again, I talked about the swelling of these boards. Down here you can see where this edge is completely exposed. So it is a little soft. It's hard to tell because it is a moist day outside or a wet day outside. So um, something we'd have to come check. And if it does need replaced, it's a pretty small fix. Um, and obviously some areas have been kind of sealed up. So we can uh, try to make that a little bit more of a longer lasting fix. You've got siding across the back and the chimney. So a large section of siding here. And then you've got a board, or sorry, uh, a sheet of T111 siding. These are sheets that needs to be replaced. And then this one by four on the corner where it's been patched in, probably best to just replace a larger section of that. So that was the only other wood repair that I found. Um, there could potentially be more. I'm not 100% sure on that, um, on the upper levels, but that's something we could definitely check out. But I think overall, that's the main wood repair that you have on the home. So I'll get this quote worked out. We'll get it over to you this evening and feel free to let me know how I can help. Thank you.